Hello everyone, my name is Tufi, I'm a trainee at the Terminology Coordination Unit and today I will talk to you about Sketch Engine and explain to you how it works. So I will now share my screen. Okay, so once you log in, this is the main screen that appears. So here you can see the recently used corpora, so to create a new corpus you just click on new corpus, you name it, and then you select if it's a single language corpus or a multilingual one. In my case, it's a single language corpus. And then here you select the language you are working on. So English in my case. And you can add a description of the corpus, but this is not compulsory. So you can just ignore this field and click on next. Now you have to upload your text. So if you have your own text, let's say PDF files or other files that you have on your computer, you just click on here. But if you want to find texts on the internet, you click on find text on the web. Here you have three possibilities, the web search, where you just have to write some keywords, for example, treatment, COVID, and the tool will automatically find texts on the web with these words or this combination of words. Uh, if you have your own uh, URLs, so links that you found, you can just click on URL and copy and paste the links Otherwise, you can use the website function where um, you have to write the general website where, uh, of a page. So if you found something on Wikipedia, you have to use the general website for, for Wikipedia, not the specific link. So this is why normally we use the URLs function because it's um, normally this is the best option. So you just copy and paste uh, the links that you found. This is very easy to insert them and very quick. Okay, and once you're done with it, you just name the folder. So for example, name number one, and you click on go. Once you click on go, here you can see the processing of the uploading of the corpus and uh, you can also see the number of words the corpus includes. And once, once it's done, this is the screen that appears, so you can see that it's compiled. You can click on Corpus Dashboard, and here you are again in the main uh, screen. And here you can see all of the features that uh, Sketch Engine provides. So uh, the most important ones are uh, the keywords function and the word list function. These are the two uh, tools that we use for terminology extraction. So um, the word list is actually um, different because it's just the, a list of words. So here you can see uh, all of the words uh, that um, compose the the corpus, so even punctuation, articles, and non-terms, let's say, so not relevant terms. Uh, this is uh, based on frequency, so it goes from the most frequent one to the least frequent one, and you can also uh, decide to adjust the list um, adjectives or adverbs, and you can also use the advanced search where you can use some filters like the frequency filter and other. But the main terminology extraction function is keywords. So once you go to keyword, you just click on go and here it is. It's very fast and this is the list of terms that Sketch Engine extracts. So you can find the total amount of terms here and uh, it is again in a frequency order, so this is the most frequent one. And if you want to consult its context, you just click on there. And here you have the context. If you click on the on the term, you can even enlarge the context, and uh, the term will appear in red. So uh, these are the uh, simple terms, but you can also have complex terms. Um, the complex terms um, function in the same way as the simple terms, so you have the list and you can download the whole list uh, in three, actually four different formats. You can use here again the advanced search, so you can uh, select and add some filters, so frequency filters, and this is very important, maximum items, because um, automatically 
it's 1000 but if you want to look for more if you want to have more results you just have to add to let's say um bigger the 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 limit so that sketch engine can find all of the terms that are there another function is um the the word sketch function where you can find the collocations of a term so for example if you write treatment and you click on go here you can find all the modifiers meaning the adjectives that go with treatment nouns verbs and everything so this is very very useful and important for terminologists and translators and uh, these are the three main main functions and then you have more sp specific ones based on the type of research and analysis you want to carry to carry out so in this case the word sketch difference you can uh, compare uh, the collocation of two different terms so if you click on it you just write the first lemma the second lemma you click on go and then sketch engine compares the collocation of the two words that you have written this is the thesaurus is also very interesting and it's um it's a it's a function that uh, analyzes the term from a semantic point of view so uh, you can find synonyms or possible let's say um, terms that uh, can go in the same context as the term that you are looking for um, so it's a semantic um, it's a semantic uh, let's say um, connection with the term so these are the main um, the main features that you can also find in the main menu here so it's just the same and another very important and interesting thing is the manage corpus option so here you can make bigger your corpus make it smaller by deleting some links or add or adding new ones you can share it you can download it you can compile it you can delete it and so on and so forth so these are the main uh, options i will stop sharing my screen and i hope this was very clear and useful for you so bye